Hey guys, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and so I'll be unboxing the Collector's Edition Blu-ray and DVD combi pack release of Expelled from Paradise which has been released into the UK via Anime Limited. So start off with uh, the front cover has got the main key art for the film itself as well as the logo at the bottom and then the BBFC logo next to it. So interestingly enough there's no like uh, Anime Limited logo, there's no... Um, collectors or combi pack release mentioning anywhere on the front is just clean artwork with the logo and age rating we then have the spines which a bit like with psychic school wars uh, has uh, character keyword artwork on top of each spine the logo for the film itself and then the age rating and so forth it's a standard uniform design that anime limited are applying to their collection combi pack dvd and blu-ray releases for films and it's one that i agree with Moving on to the back, we've got a selection of screenshots from the film as well as the synopsis and what you can expect from the inside, which is the film, which is just short of uh, 105 minutes. A selection of bonus features um, such as art cards, four page booklet, feature film and so forth. Uh, I've also got on disc bonus being a making of a uh, documentary that's 20 minutes long as well as a teaser trailer. And as you can see, the Blu-ray is 1080p with the DVD being 480p or standard definition or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, as well as this Expel for Paradise is a slip cover, similar to Psychic School Wars, Letter to Momo uh, and a few others, Pattern Inverted, Inverted, for example, whereby the cover just slides off and then you've got the Digipack uh, art box design you know all wrapped up nicely hidden away so like i mentioned in the previous unboxing video i do prefer this uh package design compared to some of their other releases it all you know it keeps the product all tightly knit into a single package and you know it's not going to get damaged in any way unlike the tiger and bunny the beginning combi pack set which you know could easily fall out and stuff but once you've got anime limited films such as this all next to each other that also looks pretty good as well as thankfully all of the spines you know match up and it's nice having that continuity so with the cellophane off as you can see that just slides out there uh give you one more tour around the box so we've got the front we have the spine and the other spine which you can see features different character key artwork uh we then have the back of the box Pretty much all standard uniform is what you come to expect from a collector edition release by Anime Limited. Move the uh, sleeve out of the way, or oh, I don't think it's called now, card. I'm just going to call it a sleeve for now. Uh, and as you can see, it's got quite a different uh, artwork for the chipboard box, which has a bit of a rugged feel to it, whereas uh, Psychic School Wars had that sort of glossy, shiny feel to it. So that's quite nice to know. So yeah, again, more interesting key artwork uh, with Expel from Paradise down the side. We then have the spine yet again with the name of the show and then some more individual character artwork on the back. So pretty simplistic, uh, but it's strong, sturdy, and it works. So that's uh, good to know. And then once we get on the inside, uh, we have the art book, which is a 40-page booklet. I'm assuming featuring all sorts of different information about the show, such as artwork with the characters, screenshots, and so forth. Basically anything you'd come to expect from a collector's edition Blu-ray release. But... There is quite a lot of artwork to look at. Now, the Psychic School Wars one had like literally about three shots of each character. Here, there's an extensive selection of the mechas, the characters, different outfits, different weapon designs. You know, it's it's in more it's more in depth. And then obviously we get to the back of the book, and we have some uh, interesting pieces of artwork as well as uh, background animation artwork. So yeah, I personally prefer this booklet compared to some of the others that I've seen. Moving that aside. We then have three pieces of uh, postcards or art cards or whatever you want to call them, uh, each of which featuring a different ca uh, key artwork. For some reason, I thought there was four, but now there's only three, uh, as it says on the back of the box here. For some reason, I thought there was going to be four cards, but now there's, on there's only three. So, yeah, all three of them are here. Uh, pretty, yeah, again, pretty cool, look nice, but uh, I don't think I'll be sending them off to anybody. Uh, I don't mind art cards being included with collection sets, but I just think to myself, does anybody actually send them away anywhere? Does anybody actually write on them and post them away? I mean, do you? I mean, leave a comment below. Yeah, I, I'd like to know, really, yeah. Uh, moving on, we then have the Digipack uh, case, whereby the film's discs are on the inside. So the back of it is one long piece of artwork, pretty much what Anime Limited do with their releases. And then on the inside, we then have the Blu-ray and DVD discs with some artwork behind them, which is basically uh, mecha designs, which, you know, nothing too 
great, I suppose. It looks nice, but you know, it's not as good as some of the other releases that they've done. Uh, you will notice uh, the artwork for the discs isn't really anything spectacular. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. We have the logo, pretty cool stenting artwork, you know, Blu-ray and Toei animation logos, and then the age ratings and so forth. So not a lot really to shout home about. But at the end of the day, it's the film that we want to watch, uh, not the actual, you know, discs themselves if you know what i mean you know we don't want to stare at discs for two hours do we? we want to watch the film itself but has anybody noticed the artwork or the bbsc logo is completely different to the one on the disc the bbsc logo on the box and everywhere on the box is a 12 the bbsc logo on the disc is a 15 now i have checked on the bbsc website and the film has been rated 12 so I can only assume that Anime Limited, a bit like what they did with the Terran and Resonance uh, Ultimate Edition set, is they printed the 15 rating on the disc to get it approved. And then the BBFC turned around and said, actually, it's, we've given it a 12 rating. But instead of going back and changing the, lo uh, the actual logo on the disc, they forgot and left it as is. So yeah, a bit of a production error by yeah, Anime Limited there, which coincidentally enough is not the first and probably not the last time that will happen. So that's what you can expect from Expelled from Paradise, which is available on Blu-ray and DVD and standard DVD.